Hi guys, Sam here with you. I just uh, thought we had enough movement here in Bitcoin that warrant maybe just a quick update here. Now, it, so this this move here, while it's changed the shorter term, the, the, the very short term count, it certainly doesn't change the longer term count here as we work on this. So on the assumption that we're in an AB and we're trying to finish in a C, you know, when you have a, a change down here, you know, you kind of, you pull back and you go, all right, so my short term, what I thought was happening short term, that, that's broken down, that, that, that short term thinking has been invalidated. So is that changing the longer term count? Well, it, right, so when you, 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 you kind of pull back and you go, wait a minute, okay, what, what can we see for sure? Is, is there something happening here to support the idea that maybe the longer term count is changing based off of the short term count? It's, it's, boy, it's hard to make that case. Just to review, we know this is a very high probability to be a significant pivot as to whether it's our ultimate low, uh, there's, there's the big question. So if we just review what, what the confluence that dictates that this is a significant low, well, of course, the obvious one here is just Right. So if we've got this correctly identified, if this is an A, B, and we're in the process of finishing the C, well, I mean, so here's the obvious one, right? So right, we're right from the golden zone. We've gone just a couple of ticks from the second target, right? There's almost no hesitation at first target, right? right. But just a, oh, it's a slight fr front run on the second. So, you know, that's the first thing that catches your attention here because of that, that symmetry now. So... Is, could, so A, B, C, look, could we be done here? Well, then if you go to the, to the subdivision, it certainly looks like this would be a 1-2 in the, in the context of trying to complete that C. So if that's 1-2, well, we can measure and say, well, it looks like that could be the third. So again, you come back to what can we, what can we look at and say with certainty? Well, we know, as I pulled this over, the highest probability for a wave 3 most common location is between the 1618 and the 175, right? And we hit the 175 to the tick, right? Additionally, if we just use our, our fib swing, right? We go to the length of that. Now, granted, we break the golden zone here. 786 holds it, but look, we, there's the negative 100. It's to the tick. So it's very hard to see this as anything other than just this big, right? So here we are. Here's the B. We've got one two going in, three is in, and now we're in the process of we're trying to get the four to get the five. So, you know, you're down here in the, in the micro, you know, the minuscule count, and, you know, that's, shit, it's always, always, right? this, this is going to change. I would be surprised if it weren't changing, right? As, as bitchy, as difficult, uh, and difficult as Bitcoin has been to trade. So that, yeah, boy, that, that certainly is a lot of evidence to suggest that this is significant. So now you get into the, the subdivision and you start breaking that down. Well, it, we're in some sort of a, well, most likely we're in some sort of corrective action. Now I know you can't see in that. I'm going to break this down here. We'll get into it. So let me just pull some of this off here so we can see the chart. Let's get all of that off here. Now I leave the, the median line on here. It's interesting, we've just tagged it. It still seems like a, a reasonable location. So if we we're just, you know, standard ops, if we went for the length of the two to the three, right, here's where, look where the 38 comes in. All right, so if we're going to get this, right, and I kind of went over this yesterday, but let's zoom this up a little bit. No, so if we're going to get this, this the, the typical A, B, C, right, wouldn't that just be... Right, I, I couldn't script it any better than that. So now we come down to the micro count, the little mini. Then we're down to the, let's go down to the 30 minute. Okay, so the triangle was broken down last night. So now I think the real question here, well, let's zoom here so you can see this, right? So impulsive up, All right? So that's either a one or an A, right? So given the longer term count, seems reasonable to anticipate that's our A. Well, this now looks like, boy, doesn't it look like it's got nice symmetry here? So that we've got an A, B, C. Now, it's not, it's not perfect as in length of the A projected from the proposed B, right? We come up short here. We don't make it. And it is, it is interesting how this, this trend line here supported this as we moved here. And the idea was what, what looked like an almost just a boy, boy, ter perfect triangle, well, it breaks. So that idea is invalidated. All right, so, what, what, you know, shit, what, what are you going to do, right? So it's not, it, it invalidates, so, okay, so what do we do, right? So if it, the question then becomes, I, I really think, so note here, now we can pull this off of here. 
are we done? So is this part of the correction complete? If this is A, B, and we're down here for the C, let's finish that. The, the, despite that we don't get that technical precision that you'd, you'd be looking for. So the next question, right, is that a sign of strength that we don't make the 100%? You don't, you, you don't have a, a, a set of median lines that nails it, right? So if we look here, now I've got a modifier on that. So let's go back to original, right? So is, you could look at that and think, hmm, okay, trading principle number four, failure to make the median line sets up a move equal to or greater than the move that failed to get there. Like equal to or greater than. Well, what does that do to our count? Would that, would that alter the longer term count? Well, this, if, we're, if this is potentially now a sign of strength in that we don't make the 100, this trend line seems to hold it, the triangle idea breaks down. Is this a significant pivot? Are we done here? A, B, C, now we're going up to in the larger context of, of completing the A, the B now is in and we're going up for the C. Well, you got to consider the, the symmetry matters. So let's just clean this up a little bit. Get some of this out of here. Okay, so let me get that off here. Okay, so here's the, the trend line break here that breaks down the idea of the triangle. So I think the real question, get this off here. The, the question we have to ask ourselves here is are, is this move is this move here relative to this move in the context of that wave subdivision and i think with with the breakdown of the potential triangle that would have completed this in more in better in better symmetry so if this were going to finish down here we could make that case that as it looked like it was 3 4 and if the, well the triangle would have been over here if that was going to break down then it looks like that's related that this, this whole move here is relative to, to w within the subdivision. With this move here, now you have to ask yourself, now is that, could that be, because it's certainly an alternate would be, oh, well, we're just putting in an ABC. Right, and but now getting to the subdivision here, this doesn't look like it's finished, right? So if this is one, two, three, maybe four, and that, right, the, the three may not even be done. Well, now the symmetry starts to get, get all wrong here. So if this is one, two, and that were to be the three, and this would be the four up here, and we're coming down here for that, well, that's just right, just all wrong. Right, just, just, they don't look like they're related. So then you have to come back to this move down here and say, well, could we be done here? Well, there is a way to finish it here. We had considered this the three because the, the subdivision played a little bit better, and because that was a pretty good looking triangle, right? So it's always, it's always just the potential. It's never, it's never the absolute. So now you look at it and say, well, that's, that's not what we got. So this looks to be, to my eye, as though we've finished here. So could this be the C in of the B and now we're starting up? I think that looks better to me because now we get a one, two, three, four, yeah, same, same damn problem out here that we've had throughout so much of this, right? we don't get a clean five here. We don't get a clean five here. We get a double top five here. Everywhere you look, right? These are, they're not finishing cleanly. With the possible, one exception here, we did get a, a very pretty ending diagonal here for this fifth, but it, this five, this five, this five, they're not, they're not, well, you can't dig the subdivision out, right? Particularly as you come down to the four five. But I think this is more likely complete now as we move away from it because of that symmetry issue. So if that is complete, well, then we got to look about, you know, so the, consider the alternate. So think of it this way. So if that's complete, we've got a completed five wave. We come down here, we finish. Well, what have we done? We're just coming up to the 50. So the, the, the ultra bearish alternate would be that this, we were just doing, this was completed as a one, two, right? That, that's the, right. If, if that's, potentially just putting in a two, we, we got a long way down to fall, right? So I'm, I'm not prepared to go there. I mean, shit. I'm amused by, let's call them commenters, right? When I, when I make a bearish call, there is no bigger bull of Bitcoin that I know of than, than I am, right? I, I'm, I am an uber bull long-term. Trying to get the short-term count here, shit, well, you know, it's, just welcome to the party, right? It's n n never easy with Bitcoin here because, all right, so what, what do you do with that, right? Is that just a pump? Look how many of these we have. Look, here's one. Here's the pump down, pump up, pump up, pump up, pump down. It's a lack of contained, of, of consistent trend, right? It's just, it's just, 
violent chop, right? Abrupt moves. They look, they just, all of it. Here, I'm on a 30 minute chart. I mean, just pull, pull it up yourself, right? Look how many of these straight up, straight down, straight up, straight down. It's all over the place. Makes it very difficult. So all you can do is work with your tools. What, where are the probability zones? Well, if this is done, if we're done down here and this B is in, well, we're looking for now a motive wave to come off of that low. So is that right? it's a reasonable case? But you're going to bump into this. We know we're going to bump into that, right? That's just straight, right, right, right to the POC, right? So I'm, this is visible range, but you can see, you see all of this trading here. You can understand why this is the the, the POC is right here. Right? It's most trading, most agreed upon price of this entire move in terms of what we can see. Right where we land, and then we back off. So now, how, how is that subdivision play? So if this is complete, now we're trying to, if this is done here, we're trying to go, well, so we probably get, you know, one A, B, C into a two. Well, right, so here it looks like, so if, you, if this is one, two, it looks like one, two, three, four, five of three, still, still trying to finish here to get that three, A, B, C down for the four, and then we're up for the five, but that's just completing the three. So that would be one, two, three, four, five of the three of the next degree higher. Let's change that color so you can see it. So that would be three of the larger degree. Now, where are we going to likely to bump into some resistance? Well, there's the golden zone right there. So one, two. Well, of course, we're going to put a pitchfork on it. All right, we've got, we've got some reasonable pivots here. So if this is right, so trend line holding it. If, that, if this is solid here, then we should have something to work with here. Now I've got a modifier on that, so let's get back to original. All right, so let's dial it in, tight as we can make it. That looks solid, that looks solid. Are we here? It's always a challenge when you've got two. So which, which pivot do you use? So I kind of bring it over one as we've got a clear double top, and it looks like this would be one, two, three, four, five. So the second pivot here looks more optimal just in terms of that subdivision. So that's your one here. And we've got one, two, well, right? So there's your corner pocket. Right, so not what we were anticipating, yet the, the corner pocket was always there, right? So there's your 80% realized, boom. Right now, I know. Yeah, I, I'm with. I get it. Right, I know. Easy in hindsight. I, yeah, listen, I trade this stuff too. Right, so you know, spare me the content. Right, so spare me the comments. Okay, so up one, two, three, four, five. Down, we, so we get a nice, pretty potential roadmap here. So one, two, three, four, right up into the median line in the golden zone. Well, what would that do for us? What would that do to the count? Well, if that's completing the three, now we're anticipating the four, here's your lower parallel. No reason to think that that might not come into play, but we, of course, we're just gonna use the tools. So if, if now I'm hypothetical here, I don't have this pivot, but if we pivot here, where are we looking for the four? Well, we're looking for it, right? Here's, here's our 23 to the 38, right? We wanna hold above the, these pivots here, right? So if that's the three of the one, so this, I can move this down here. So if that's the one, Right, so this this four can't come down to that. Or if we're going to get an impulse, we can't have this break. That's got to hold. So somewhere in this zone to go up for that five would make sense. Are they related? Right, this looks like it's now done with that with this little pump move we had overnight. So, you know, to trade it, you know, this is. You know, unless you're in here trading the little mini swings, it's just there's so much confusion here to be aggressive on the bullish side. Well, sure, that's a nice move. What do we get there? 36.86 to, you know, it's $200 move there. There's nothing wrong with that. I mean, it's not, that's a nice for, for a short term scalp trade. There's, what's, what's wrong with that? Nothing wrong with that. So if you got, if you got that, good for you. Right? If you were, if you were on the, looking on the short side, of course, you know. As I will remind you, I'm not one to be shorting Bitcoin. I don't ever, oh, rarely do I ever short. Not that I've never, I just so very rarely do it. So I, I wasn't really telling anybody to short that. I was just saying that looked like a reasonable count to head down here. With that breaking here, so wh where's the next play? Well, if, you're, if you wanna be on the long side, as I prefer to be, it would strike me that the next opportunity here is to let this finish, unless you wanna try and play the four into the five, and get the larger, confirm this. Let's get this confirmed. 
get a we got a four to a five, right? That's a reasonable trade, right? But be realistic about how far that can go. And then the whole thing, right? So you, you, this we're going to have to break out of this. If this is going to be a solid count, if we if we've got a good pivot here, then we need to get certainly we need to get beyond this pivot. If this if we're going to have the low in here and we're going up to finish what I would propose to you is the C wave before the potential to head back down to finish the larger count in five. Well, this is this has got some ways to go, right? There's there's a long way to go if we're going to go up to that 38. Can I even so here here's the 38 here we'd be anticipating. So this could very well just be the one of the one of the four. Right? Long long way for that to go. Where where's that? It's it's called the 38 is well let's call it 5,000. Right? Just to round up round it right it'll be different exchange to exchange. So we're sitting here. Where where are we sitting right now? And where's my price? So where, where are we here? We're down, Jesus, I can't even see it. All right, so we're sitting at 37.91 and we got a target of 5,000. Well, you got 1,300 bucks of upside here before you're gonna hit any, likely any significant resistance. Of course, you gotta get through the 50 in the golden zone here, that's 3,800. So right, I, would, I would just be, you know why again? You know th this it's 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 so erratic. Why why force anything or chase anything? So one count breaks down. So is there a way to to deal with what's now happened as a result of that? So I don't think we change the larger count. It's just about timing this. So there's opportunity in here on the long side if this is if this is going to continue. But I would keep be mindful of the larger degree, which still implies that there's one more move down here to finish the the, the entire move, the entire correction. Just doesn't seem like it's done yet. Right? But as I will remind you, and I think I make a pretty good point of uh, trying to convey this, I'm wrong all the time. Any good trader who tells you that they're not wrong more than they're right is full of shit. Don't believe it. The first time someone tells you that, delete, remove, unfollow. That's bullshit. I've worked with some of the most successful traders on the planet. They are all wrong more than they're right. Get used to it, guys. All right, see you later.